arriving at our anchorage. We're cutting a little bit short because we still have about half an hour before we actually get there. And it's probably going to be dark by the time we drop it. So, a new adventure. We're going to the Passaggio dei Fornelli. New anchorage, a bit rolling, but very quiet. Live there, nice view, no trees though. Our first day alone on the boat after Kim and Andy left us. We did a little sail to a little bay and there's nobody here. It's a bit rolling, but it's pretty. Apero after seven hours of sailing? Well, s seven hours of a little bit of sailing and a lot of motoring yeah. again. And we are at Isola Rosa. Isola Rosa. Just a night stopover on the way to the north of Sardinia. Well, it's another beauty. Had a long sail today, but whenever this, these kind of sights, it's pretty awesome. There's Corsica. And what you just told us, the top end of Sardinia, turning right towards Madalena. La Madalena. And that is actually the island, La Madalena. So we're sailing through a channel between Sardin. Yeah. And La Madalena. The Madalena Archipelago, yeah, all the Madalena Islands. In fact, just there is a little township on the island of La Madalena. There's a, there's a, a, um, the a harbour there as well, apparently. I hope it worked, but remember the elephant? We found the bear. This color cold? I don't know. It's uh, the Costa Smeralda where we are. Once in a while, we need to do some laundry. Once in a while, we need to do some laundry. Indeed. We are in Canigione on Sardinia doing a washing. Doing a washing. So we are in Canigione in a little restaurant. And look at, there's our boat. How cool is that? The restaurant's called Cattle. And we're gonna have pizza, of course. Having a little walk in Canigione after our nice pizza stretching our legs before we move back to the boat watching a bit of practice match racing between two little optimists whilst we're sitting here for anchor they laid out a little race course and they gotta go around that yellow marker there Oh. 
ILF. I'll show it to you from the other side. Hold on. So we just lift our headsail furled a little bit to keep the boat nice and balanced. Need a spinnaker like that, is it? No. So we're back in France. This is the smallest harbour in the world. They're squeezing everybody in like sardines. And then they let these big monsters in. Look at that. Bush de Bonifacio. Sardinia on the other side. In the sun, sorry. steps that go all the way down down there somewhere pretty stunning actually Restaurant, a little bar. So is it? Yeah. What door are you coming out from? From the church. Of course, the church right next to the restaurant. If you don't believe me, look at this. Ah, wait! Tanda! Tanda! 
Another look of Bonifacio. It's really busy, but you can see why it's quite spectacular actually. We parked somewhere amongst all these boats. It's a coming and going like unbelievable. Lots of wind, so sorry about that. Another lovely bay in Corsica, not very far from Bonifacio. Very quiet actually. It's September, things should quieten down. Oh, it's filming. <laughs> Is this what giving up feels like? I don't know, I don't know. Tell me, have I lost my mind? Nowhere to go, so far from home Is this what giving up feels like? I don't know, I don't know Tell me, have I lost my mind? So I break these walls and hold my head up high And I step up blind until the day I die This is what you would call a project or maybe no longer a project that looks pretty finished eh? mm -hmm. <laughs> so we are in Ostia Antica old Roman town the old town of Ostia we're gonna go for a bit of a walk and see how the Romans lived because when in Rome you do like the Romans <laughs> In the middle of what is called the necropolis so this is where this is like the graveyard everywhere around me before you enter the city the old baths some of it the, the term the terms whatever they call them Well, this sure was a big town. Just another little view of the old town of Roman town of Ostia. Give you a bit of an idea. It's vast. It's really impressive. There you go.